Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss as to how we can do a document search using the advanced search option in Web of Science. So here, just imagine today what we are going to do is that you are in the process of writing a systematic literature review paper on carbon disclosures and sustainable development goals. So in order to search the literature for that, you can take use of the Web of Science database. So here, uh, when you click on the drop down arrow, there are several options for you to do the search on. So for the today's search, I would be taking use of this topic option. What is referred as topic option is that if you search for the topic, suppose it's the carbon disclosures. So if the carbon disclosures terminology appears either in the title or else in the abstract or the author keywords or the keyword class, it would get captured as a literature through the Web of Science database. So that's what is referred to as topic. If you take use of title, only those literature where this carbon disclosure terminology, if it appears in the title, that particular literature would get captured through Web of Science database. But there's a difference between topic and title. Please understand this. If you are choosing topic, it's not going to search only the title, but it would scan through abstract or the keywords as well as the key, uh, keyword plus uh, search options, right? So for today's search, I would be taking use of topic. And since my uh, the first keyword in the literature search that I'm going to do is carbon disclosure, let me type that. And it, that's not it because I'm going to look at the literature where there would be two keywords. One would be the carbon disclosures and the other one would be, let me use the add arrow option and the Boolean operation and. And here I'm again going to choose topic because I'm not going to limit my search only to the title, but the topic. So here, what is my other keyword option? Since my literature, the systematic literature review is going to be on carbon disclosure and the sustainable development goals, along with the carbon disclosures uh, keyword, I need to search for the literature where I have sustainable development goals as well, right? So you can also put it inside the inverted comma. Since, yeah, both of these, we will put it inside inverted commas just to be on the safe side right now we have uh, uh, given proper instructions to web of science what our main keywords are so first of all when you are doing a literature review you need to understand based on the topic area that you are conducting your research you need to understand what are your keywords so in my case i'm doing a, a literature review uh, focusing the carbon disclosures as well as the sustainable development goals. So I want Web of Science to search for those all those literature where in their topic, uh, both carbon disclosures as well as sustainable development goals, the to two terminologies are mentioned. So I'm going to have a add date range option as well because I'm not going to look at all the literature because uh, I would be sticking into the latest literature. Right. So looking at the publication date, I'm going to give the custom option and I'm going to have uh, all those literature from uh, 1st of January um, 2015 to uh, 2023, August 18th, all the publications since I want to refer to the most latest literature on this particular topic area. Right, so now let me click on the search option. So you can see uh, I'm getting directed to a new uh, uh, platform. There you can see how many results I have got. I have got 34 results here, right? So here, 34 results for the two uh, terminologies that we have, two keywords that we have um, told Web of Science to search for the literature where in their title, both this uh, carbon disclosure and the sustainable development goals, two terminologies are mentioned, right? So since our literature search was uh, 
limited to 2015 January 1st to uh, 20, uh, 18th of August 2023. Not many literature we find here. So 34 literature we have found, right? So you can see the uh, literature, each and every literature uh, that we have found here. So when you go to this particular literature, you can see uh, how many times they have been cited as well as how many references are there in, uh, in each of these literature. So before uh, going in detail with regards to each of these uh, particular literature, let me also share there's a very interesting um, built-in feature given in Web of Science that allow us to analyze the results that we have got. That means the results that we have got here is 34 results or 34 literature Web of Science have uh, found on behalf of us. So we can do the analyzing results option. So suppose that I hear the Web of Science categories before focusing on Web of Science categories, just imagine you want to see from 2015 to 2023 up until now, how many publications have got published each year. So you can take use of publication years option and the visualization of that would be given accordingly, right? Uh, and here document types, So here, uh, the reason why, uh, if you look at the publication years, the reason why 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2018 is there, but 2015, 16, 17, no, uh, we cannot see any, uh, any uh, visualization in the bar chart for those years. Maybe because in those years, such publications have not been made, uh, which are, currently available in the web of science database maybe because of that reason it's not available so apart from that it gives us several other options for the visualization aspect so here web of science categories uh, so in web of science several categories are available uh, under the management field business finance field and here you have engineering environmental engineering civil likewise many Web of Science categories are available. So under each of these categories, how many publications are there? It is visualized under this option. So this is a very nice uh, visualization that you can take use of for your publication purposes as well. Right. So let me go back to the results that we have got. So here we have got 34 results. So after you have got the 34 results, if you want to further filter it down to uh, maybe if you want to see like how many publications have been made in year 2023, you can uh, do the filtering uh, by clicking on this particular filtering option available for 2023. You can see it's 10. When you refine it, so all those uh, 34, instead of 34 results, now we are getting only 10 results. Why? Because now we have limit our publications only to the year 2023. I'm going to remove it from here. Now the refining is uh, removed and also the document types if you want to stick into articles and review articles without having uh, considered the early access. So just tick these two and click on the refining option. Right. So likewise, many filtering options are available here. Uh, so here languages. So uh, only all the 34 articles are in English language. If you want to see what are the articles that are published based on the geographical location or the country, suppose that I want to see how many, what are the articles that are published in the Australian context. When I click on refining, I get out of those 34 articles that we got earlier, six results we are getting, right? So this is how you can do the filtering. So you can check uh, what are the other filtering options that you have uh, on your left hand side all right so here now i have like refined my articles uh, where i have the carbon disclosure as well as the sustainable development goals the two key terminologies or two keywords in the uh, topic right uh, and also i uh, we have refined it to the australian context papers so here when you go and click on one particular paper so this paper 
all the details we can see here, right? So the topic in which journal it has got published, it has got published in Australia. Uh, so this particular journal, Accounting, Business and Finance Journal, um, the abstract is there as well as the keywords are there, right? Also the author information, uh, categories classification, web of science category. I told you that under web of science, several categories are there. So under that category, this particular paper falls into the category of business and finance. Right. So that's not only about it, but here I told you the journal where this paper had got published is given here. Apart from that, the details with regards to the journal is also mentioned below that indicating the journal impact is impact as well, which is which which is very useful if you are planning to get your uh, systematic literature review paper published in a high rank journal. So you need to be keen on what in which sort of uh, journals your the papers or the literatures that you are considering has got published. So here the journal impact is 1.9, which, which is very good, right? Okay, so apart from that, uh, suppose that out of these six papers, when you keep on reading the paper, so this is the first paper that we are reading, suppose that you need to mark this particular paper, so you can choose this add to mark list option and create new list. Suppose I'm I'm going to have it like under the new list, carbon disclosures and SDG Australia because this, this particular paper is limited to the Australian context. This name. You can do whatever the description that you want here and create mark list. Okay, now the mark list has got created. But remember to use this create, uh, use this particular uh, add to mark list option. You need to have an account created in Web of Science, which is uh, available for you to like have, you can create it uh, without much of a trouble. So after you have created your account, um, you need to log into that particular account. See, I have like already logged into my account. And when you have logged into your account, if I want to refer back to what are the articles that I have marked uh, uh, list, listed as earlier, I can go to this particular option here, over here, onto your left-hand side. And here, my mark list, here I have the options, right? This is the, so this is the list available under this, uh, under this list. I still have only one particular article listed under this list as you saw, saw earlier. So this article is available here. So once after you have created a full list, suppose that you have uh, 10 listed articles under this option. And uh, once after you have created that list, you have the opportunity or you uh, Web of Science allows us in analyzing the results for the list of the articles that we have created, right? So here I have only one article. So it is listed under the Business Finance Web of Science category. And if you look at the publication years, it has got published in 2022, right? So uh, that's how you can uh, marked certain uh, important papers under a particular uh, umbrella uh, name, right? So here uh, I have come back to the results for carbon disclosures option now. Uh, so let me also show you, suppose that, uh, so today's date is 18th of August, 2023. So as of now, Six articles are already available for the carbon disclosures and the sustainable development goals. Uh, the key terms where if the carbon disclosures or the and the uh, and the sustainable development goals 
these two key terminologies, if they are mentioned either in the title, either in the abstract or else in the keywords, uh, how many such articles are available up until now? Six articles. But just imagine that tomorrow or day after tomorrow or maybe weeks after to, uh, weeks from now or months from now, a new paper gets published in this area. Since we have refined it to the Australian context in Australia, another author is going to get a publication done uh, where these two key terminologies are mentioned. So if you want to get the alert with regards to that web of science also uh, also like provide us with that option where uh, they would send us an alert to our email account look here another publication is uh, published um, brand new in the area that you're focusing on right so in order to give instructions to web of science with regards to that you can take use of this create alert option so you have the create alert option. You can uh, have a particular name for the alert. Disclosure, sorry. It's carbon. Disclosure. SDG. Yeah. So create. Uh, so we are going to ask web of science to send us any uh, send us the alerts if any new publications on this area is going to get uh, published right so email alerts would be sent right so now if a uh, if a new publication is published uh, on this area in the australian context since we have already refined it it's going to uh, web of science would be sending us the alerts right so these so here when you click on this bell option you can see what are the alerts options that we have uh, already given commands to uh, web of science to send us to right okay so that's pretty much about it so just play with the uh, web of science to be more familiar with it uh, so maybe in the first two three searches it would you would find it little bit difficult not as easy as that of first scopus but uh, it's not that difficult as well right so you have to be very careful when you are like uh, especially if you're focusing on an area just like uh, refer to the literature and identify the keywords after identifying the keywords only you have to do the proper search on literature using a web of science otherwise you would be missing out a few other literature if you are not going to give the correct command using web of science for example here uh, instead of carbon disclosures maybe literature is saying you to uh, there are some other synonyms where instead of carbon disclosures it is also referred as climate change disclosures in certain literature. So in such cases, make sure to include that synonym also, right? So it's very important. So um, that's pretty much about it I wanted to discuss with you all today. So I hope it would be useful. Please subscribe to my channel and keep in touch. Thank you.